Hello, and welcome to our series on the foundations and applications of distance education. Each of these short programs is designed to provide a concise introduction and overview to a single aspect of distance learning. Our series is funded by the federal government as part of the Iowa Distance Education Alliance, Iowa Star Schools Project. And throughout this series, we'll be taking advantage of the fiber optic technology of the Iowa Communications Network. Today's topic is the teacher's role in distance education. The role of the teacher is just as important whether you're teaching in a traditional classroom or teaching at a distance. But there may be some aspects of teaching that need to be done differently. The teacher needs to ensure that distant learners are treated just as fairly as local students. The interaction needs to be facilitated and the same resources need to be available at all sites. But how do you accomplish this? Helping us answer that very question today is Dr. Ann Thompson, Professor and Chair of Curriculum and Instruction at Iowa State University. Thanks for joining us today, Ann. Thank you very much, Pam. I'm very pleased to be here. Ann, how is the role of the teacher different in a distance teaching situation? As in most educational activities, the role of the teacher is critical. Distance education places demands on the teacher that are not different than those found in regular teaching, but are often more intense than the requirements of traditional teaching. In fact, many teachers report that their experience in distance education have actually improved their teaching in traditional classrooms. Actually, there are three areas the distance teacher should concentrate on in order to increase the effectiveness of his or her instruction. These three areas are planning or preparing to teach distant learners, second, actually teaching the distant learners, and finally, supporting distant learners outside of class time. First then, let's talk about how a teacher should prepare to teach distant students. With distance education systems, the need for planning is accentuated. Since the literature on distance education indicates that distance teaching takes more time than traditional instruction, it's extremely important that teachers organize instruction so the instruction is as efficient as possible. The most important topic should be presented first. An alternative delivery system should be carefully considered. For example, if a handout on definitions can be substituted for a lecture about these definition, then class time can be more appropriately spent for explaining and discussing and interacting about the definitions. In addition, materials preparation is an important consideration for the distance education teacher. Because materials must be sent to distant sites before class time, teachers are literally forced to prepare in advance. In fact, many teachers distribute all of their handouts at the beginning of the course. Now, all of us who've taught know that that's an extreme challenge to ask teachers to do that, but we can see it is an extremely important, this pre-planning is an extremely important part of the distance education process. Three categories of materials are used most often by distance educators. First, the traditional syllabus and textbook become even more important in the distant environment. The syllabus is important to distant learners be because it becomes their surrogate teacher. As a matter of fact, distance education syllabi are very often more comprehensive and complete than syllabi used in traditional courses. Obviously, textbooks need to be made available to all students. Now, in higher education situation, bookstores and continuing education offices usually handle the distribution of texts. But in both K-12 situations and in corporate training, this may be the responsibility of the instructor. Second, the presentation handout is an especially effective tool for the distant educators. Based on the complexity of the material, 
The extent of information in the handout can range from a simple outline to more complex visual cues. The presentation handout also has space set aside for note taking. The purpose is to keep the teacher and the distant learner on the same page. Many teachers have found that they use presentation handouts in distant learning and then use the same technique in their traditional classroom situation. Here are several examples of interactive study guides. You will notice the word pictures with certain parts left blank for students to fill in while note taking. 